welcome back to my channel. I am going to be doing a tutorial today on the eye look that I'm currently wearing. If you would like to watch this then please stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe in the box below and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. I'm going to be using the Eyes Uncovered Nude Palette by Collection, a fantastic palette, really really easy to use, really great pigment and it's like $2.99, $3.99 so really worth the money. I'm also going to be using the Revelation or Revolution eyeshadow. This is such a great palette and really affordable as well. So I'll leave the links in that one below. So I really hope you enjoy this. So first of all, I'm gonna take my Revolution, Makeup Revolution by London. And this is the Ultra Eyeshadows in Flawless Matte. And I'm going to use this color here. And I'm gonna sweep that all over my eyelid with a fluffy brush. So just bringing that through the crease. Not taking it too high, but I have hooded eyelids so I like to bring it a little bit above where my eye closes down. And just keep blending that. I'm then going to take the Eyes Uncovered New Palette by Collection and I'm going to take the darkest shade and work that into the outer corner of my eyes using the same fluffy brush. So tap off the excess and then just work it in really lightly to the corner of the eyes. And the other eye. Just bringing it through the crease and on the outer corner of the eye. I like to tap it off again and just go back in and blend. I'm going to take a pencil brush and I'm going to bring the dark shade underneath my eye. So loading it up and tapping it off. I really like to smoke under my eyes, it just gives them the illusion that I've got bigger eyes because my eyes are quite small and hooded so I like to create the illusion of a smoky eye so I like to make it quite dramatic underneath my eye. Then taking a blank cosmetics brush I am going to use the E24, this is very similar to the MAC 217 and I'm going to take that darker shade, not too much and I'm going to tap it off and then I want to tap it into the inner cor outer corners, tap it into the outer corners. I like to look down when I do this so that I can create a smoky look and just go above where my crease is. And just work that into the outer corner. And then again on the other eye. Don't worry if it's looking too kind of solid on the eye. I'm gonna blend it all out in a moment. So I like to pack on quite a bit of dark into the outer corners. And this color's lovely. And then I'm gonna just take the other side and just blend it through. Then taking a big fluffy brush, this is the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush but I love it to kind of blend out the eyeshadow. I'm just going to buff it all in. So 
so there's no harsh lines. Then I'm going to take a flat brush, this is the e.l.f. shadow eyeshadow C brush and I'm going to use this colour here and it's like a beige with slight gold in it and I'm going to pack this onto the lid. It's such an easy palette to use, really really quick, really simple, it's got all the shades that you can need to create loads of different looks. So I'm just packing that on. Then I'm going to take a small, this is a MAC brush, it doesn't have the number on it though, um, but it's just a real small definer brush and I'm going to take the lighter shade and I'm going to bring that into the inner corner just to give some light to the inner corner because we've got such a dark outer corner of the eye. So that's the eyeshadow done. Now I'm going to show you how I do my eyeliner and mascara. So on my upper waterline I like to line with a dark brown pencil so I'm going to do that now. So just lift the eyelashes up I like to draw it in. Then I'm really fascinated by this super liner by L'Oreal. It's so amazing. It's like an eyeshadow, but it's an eyeliner as well, and I really, really like it. And I'm just gonna use that underneath my eye just to give a bit more definition. This is such a great product and if you've only got one product with you, I would definitely recommend this one because you can use it on your eyes, um, you can use it underneath your eyes, you can use it on your eyes to create a smoky look and that's all you need and just a blending brush and then some mascara and you're ready to go. So yeah, I really like that product. Next I'm taking the Bourjois 16 hour curl and contour and I love this because it stays on my eyes all day and that's what I want from a pencil, I don't want it to come off during the day and I just find this is the best one I've tried, I've tried so many and I just love this one. So I'm going to take this underneath my eye. And then in the inner corner. And just kind of join it up. Then I like to line my waterline and I'm using Espresso 173 by L'Oreal and this is their 24 hour infallible liner and I got this in the USA, I can't find it in the UK anywhere so when I go back to America in August I am going to be getting probably two or three pots of these because it's just the perfect colour um, it's a really nice dark brown, not black it's dark brown and it's just really really lovely and it just gives a more natural look than having black eyeliner. I like to wear black in the evenings if I'm going out on a night out or for a meal or something um, but this, this colour is just beautiful. So I take the same pencil that I've just lined my eyelids and I dip it in to the liner and then I just take it into my waterline and I blend that in. And through the inner corner. Again, take the pot, little tiny bit on the pencil, and into the waterline. I find this the easiest way to apply eyeliner into my waterline. Then I'm going to take a fluffy brush. This one is the Smoky Eyes by Bourjois, and I'm just going to run it underneath just to blend it all out. I'm going to take Master Precise Liquid Eyeliner. This is by Maybelline and this is in the shade Forest Brown and I'm just going to line the inner corners of my eyes. I like to take them down a little bit and then I bring it up so it gives me that sort of swooping eye smoky look. So yeah. So I just go into the inner corner and I 
create a tiny little line and then I join it up so it's like a point. And then on the outer I just do a tiny little flick don't use it on the top of my eyes because I've got hooded eyelids when I put eyeliner on the top you can't see it so I tend to just do the inner corners and then the outer corners with a slight wing. Then I'm going to take my eyelash colours and curl my eyelashes. Then I'm going to apply my favourite mascara, this is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and I just love this, it creates the illusion that you've got false eyelashes on when you don't have them on um, and I just really love it and I love it in the daytime, um, I just, yeah, I really like this product so I'm going to apply this. Then I'm going to take it on the bottom of my lashes. Then I'm going to take Tarte Lights Camera Lashes and I'm just going to apply this on the top of my lashes and underneath just to give a bit more volume to them. I really like the look of full lashes and by using these two products they really give me that full lash effect. my lovely little tip at the end I take a cotton bud and I just take it under the eye to swipe away any fallout that's happened any mascara that's got on my skin and that's the finished look so that's my quick easy spring tutorial really really quick using the eyes uncovered nude palette from collection and also using the Revolution Eyeshadow Professional Eyeshadow Flawless Matte and I absolutely love these two products they're very very cheap I think this one was like $2.99 and this was about $8.99 but I'll put the links in below um, so yeah that's the look videos I've got on my channel. I'm sure you will like them and stay tuned for my next video. Bye!